the make or buy decision. The make or buy decision is the act of making a strategic choice between manufacturing an item internally, known as in-house, or purchasing an item externally, meaning an outside supplier. The buy side of the decision is also referred to as outsourcing. Make or buy decisions typically arise when a firm that has developed a product or a part, or significantly altered a product or a part, is having trouble with present suppliers, or has fading capacity or changing demand. Take for example a factory called Republic Inc. They are the leading manufacturers of lightsabers for the Jedis. But now they want to expand their product line and begin to build AT-AT Walker and sell it to the Empire. Their factory can only manufacture one product line at this time. In order for them to make both product lines, they must expand their facilities. So the company Republic Inc. has a decision to make. Do they make the AT-AT Walker or is it cheaper to buy it from another company? In order to come up with a decision, they must consider various factors, such as cost of labor and materials, manager salaries, equipment, transportation and distribution, and many more. For the main reason any company is in business, to maximize profits. The make or buy decision is the beginning portion of the value chain process. At one time or another, a company will have to make this important decision. Do they produce or make a product or service? Or do they buy it from another company? If a company chooses to make the product in order to reduce costs, they may consider consolidating departments or processes. This is called vertical integration. Vertical integration process has two important methods. Backward integration. This is when a company acquires a supplier. Forward integration, on the other hand, is when a company acquires the distribution component of the value chain process. Another option is outsourcing. Outsourcing is characterized as contracting or having an outside company make the product or services that it would normally be done internally. All of these options have one goal, to reduce costs to the value chain process. People have to make make or buy decisions every day. For example, should I make or buy pizza tonight? If I make the pizza, I'd have to go to the grocery store and purchase all the ingredients. So I'd have to buy flour, yeast, mozzarella cheese, marinara sauce, and any of the toppings that I might want. I then have to take all of the ingredients that I purchased home and make the pizza. I then have to bake the pizza and wait for it to be done. Or I could simply drive to the local pizza restaurant and buy a pizza. Since the pizza I want is only $5 and it can be ready at any time I like, I've decided to buy the pizza instead of make it. Let's go back to our Republic Inc. example. Currently the company can only manufacture lightsabers for the Jedis unless they decide to expand their facilities. They cannot manufacture the AT-AT Walker to sell to the Empire. To help aid in decision of whether they should make or buy the AT-AT Walker, the company makes use of the break-even quantity formula. This formula consists of Q, which is the amount to be produced, fixed costs, which is the cost that will not vary with producing a part, variable cost is the unit produced, and variable cost two is the unit if outsourced. In other words, the purchase price per unit. The Empire would like 25,000 AT-AT walkers from Republic Inc. Variable cost per unit if produced is estimated to be $80. Variable cost per unit if purchased is estimated at $105. Fixed cost related to producing the walkers is $975,000. Now let's plug these numbers into the break even quantity formula. Since the Empire would like 25,000 AT-AT walkers, which is less than the quantity at the break-even point, the best decision will be to outsource. 